Now, there's one thing I really do appreciate about Generate Press Pro. You are going to need to have that premium version, and that's the Elements feature. It makes hooking content into pretty much any part of your site incredibly simple and also incredibly powerful. We're going to use it for a really simple example, but I will be doing a video that covers this in a lot more detail. Today, we're specifically going to look at how we can put code into our header or our footer. This is great if you want to add in things like analytical code or you want to add in things to do with Facebook Pixel, those kinds of things. So with that being said, how do we go about doing it? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that the feature is actually installed and enabled. To do that, let's head over into the dashboard of WordPress. Once you're inside the dashboard, what we need to do now is make sure we come into Appearance, and under there, we're going to choose Generate Press. Once we choose that, we now have a load of modules we can enable or disable. Straight out of the box, after a clean install, this is not enabled. So make sure you enable the Elements feature. Once that's activated, we're going to see a new option. At the top, we've got Elements. We've also got Elements on the left-hand side, and we can also choose to open Elements in the Module section. All of these will take us to the same place. Let's use the option on the left-hand side. This will take us into the Elements listing. Now, obviously, you're going to see nothing inside you, but as you build things out, you'll see a lot more inside you as you build things. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new element. We're going to choose this to be a hook. And once you do that, we're going to click on Create. So once you do that, we now have a relatively simple setup. First of all, we can give this a name. So we're going to call this Fathom Code because we're going to use this for analytical code. We can then drop the code in this main area. We'll take a look at that in a moment. We can then choose where we want to hook this into. And if you consider this is, right, where do you want to push this code, inject this code? Lots of themes give you the same kind of option, but they are incredibly powerful. If we open up the hook option, you can see inside here we have a ton of different locations absolutely loads of them. Now, what we're looking for, though, is you can see we've got scripts and styles. We've got three options we can use inside here. The WordPress head, the body open, or the footer. We're going to choose the WordPress head. We'll choose that option. If you've got short code, you can execute those. Or if you've got PHP code, you can choose to enable execution of that as well. If you have multiple different codes you want to use inside you and have different hooks for each one, then you can set a priority to which is the most important, the second, third, and so on. We'll leave that as it is. We'll come onto our display rules, and now we can choose where to include this, if we want to exclude it, and also if we want to limit it to users to have access to whatever it is we're hooking in. For this example, we're going to open this up, and we're going to say we want this on the entire site. But again, you've got an absolute boatload of different options inside you. You can go as broad as you want for the entire site, or right the way down to a specific post or page. Really, really powerful and very granular. For this, we'll leave it to entire site. The exclude option allows you to set something very broad like the location to be entire site, but then you may have one or two pages you want to exclude. So you could open this up and say, we don't want this on the front page, or you don't want it on the author archives. And again, you've got that granular control right the way down to posts, pages, and so much more. We we'll leave that as it is. And the users is basically whether someone's logged in, logged out, all users, or primarily user roles. So again, we're going to leave that because we want this to fire everywhere. So what I need to do now is go ahead and grab that little bit of code. So if we jump over to Fathom, I'm going to go ahead and create a new site. We're going to name this something that actually makes more sense. We'll just say WP Tuts for now, and we'll say Create Site. So we're going to go ahead and just simply grab that HTML or JavaScript code. We'll copy that from there, and then we'll just simply head back over. We'll paste that code inside there. There's our little bit of code. You can see everything is all set up correctly. We can click on Publish. And that now will inject that into our site inside the header. So let's go ahead and make sure it's actually inserted where we want it to be. So coming over to the site, I've refreshed this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual code itself. Let's go and view the source code. We'll put line wrap on here. And we'll just do a quick search for Fathom. And then you can see we've got our code inside there for our script. And you can see this is all inside the header or all inside the head tag, I should say. So that's now been inserted in, so we haven't had to use any third-party tools, plugins, or anything else. And now we can do is with that inserted and correctly set up, we can come over, we can verify that site code. That's going to know. go and check that code is available. And there we go, all set up and done. So that's how easy it is to get everything up and running. And this is the first in a series of videos on Generate Press and Generate Blocks. We're going to take a look at working with the Elements function in a lot more detail. This is a really quick, Get up to speed with just inserting code into the header or footer of your site. Well, as always, all applicable links are down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.